Hi guys! Hi Isabel and Hadley and Drake and Connor and Levi and Luke and Ethan and Jacob. How's everybody doing today? I'm so sorry I missed you last week. I went to Indiana to see my son and so I'm sorry that I um, wasn't here for you but I'm so glad you're here with me today. Thank you. Remember we've been learning about who God is, the different um, characteristics of God and who he is and we have learned that God is Almighty, God is compassionate and cares for our needs. God is good, God is gracious and gives to us like grace. And today we're going to learn that God is trustworthy. Trustworthy. That's our sign for that one. Trustworthy. Trustworthy is when you make a promise and you always keep that promise. Trustworthy. God is always trustworthy. God says He's always with us. Oh, I forgot that one. We forgot that one, didn't we? God is always with us, isn't he? He is always with us, and he has promises that, and he is trustworthy in that. Today our story is about Daniel, and Daniel is a guy who, when he was a young man, pretty young, <coughs> he got taken from his country of Israel, and he got carted off to the country of Babylon, and they were captives in Babylon. And while they were there, Daniel served God faithfully. He did what God wanted him to do. He did an awesome job because the king started making him in charge of things. And he did an amazing job. And he worked his hardest. Because you know why? Because he worked for God. And then he worked really hard. And as Daniel grew older and older and older, he got more and more responsibilities. And pretty soon, he, he was one of the top three guys in Babylon. There was the king, and then there was the top three guys. And the king thought Daniel was doing such an amazing job, he was going to make him above the other two guys. Well, that made the other two guys really mad. They didn't want Daniel to be over them. So they started watching Daniel, seeing if they could figure out something he did wrong. They watched everything he did. He never did anything wrong. Ah, they couldn't find anything Daniel did. So then they got an idea. Oh, we know what Daniel does. Daniel prays every day to his God. So we're, they ran to the king then. And they told the king, oh, great and mighty King Darius, we have a great idea. For the next 30 days, nobody can pray to anybody but you. And Darius said, oh, like that idea that's a good idea and so he made it a law and nothing could happen that could break that to change that law then and so Daniel heard about that law but Daniel knew that he that he needed to pray to his God and nothing was going to change him even a law that said he couldn't do it and so Daniel went into his room and he bowed down before his window and he prayed to God and he talked to God those two guys and they ran to the king and they said oh king Darius Daniel broke your law now you know what has to happen and king Darius is like oh no because anybody who broke that law had to be thrown into the pit of lions and so king Darius was like oh man is there some way I can change this and there was nothing he could do to change that law so they went and they grabbed Daniel and they took him to the lion's den. Can you all roar like lions for me? Rawr! I bet you can roar like really hungry, angry lions, can't you? Rawr! Right? And that's what these guys were. They were fierce, hungry, mean lions down in there. And Daniel had prayed that God would help him. Right? And King Darius, King Darius said, I hope your God can save you. And they threw Daniel down in with the lions. And Daniel, and then they rolled a big stone in front of it. And King Darius had his, put his ring signet on it. So nobody could get in there to help Daniel. And King Darius was so, oh, he was so worried. And he kept, he was worried all night. He didn't even sleep all night and he didn't eat. And the next morning, he ran to the lion's den as fast as he could. And he yelled down, Daniel, did your God save you? And Daniel yelled back. He said, my God saved me. My God sent an angel. And she shut up those lion's mouths. And they hauled Daniel up out of there. And they checked him all over. There wasn't even a scratch on him. God had saved him. 
Now, sometimes God is always trustworthy to be with us, and we can always trust God. Daniel trusted God to help him, didn't he? And guess what? God saved him from the lion's den, didn't he? God was right there with him, and God was trustworthy. God is always trustworthy with us. In the Bible, God promised that he would send a Savior for us to save us from our sins so we could go to heaven. And you know what? God is trustworthy, and we can rely and trust in that because we know that God is not going to break that promise, is he? So we want to know that God is trustworthy and all he says, everything he tells us in the Bible is true and God is going to do it. So are we ready to sing? We haven't done this for a little bit. Are you ready? We're going to sing the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts, Romans, and the Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st Timothy, 2nd Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrew, James, 1st Peter, 2nd Peter, 3 John, Jude, and Revelation. Good job, guys. I hope you all have an awesome week. And just um, remember that God is almighty. He's powerful. God is compassionate and he cares for us. God is good. God is gracious and gives us good gifts. God is everywhere, isn't he? And God is trustworthy. I love you all. I'll see you next week.